morning guys. Morning. Sorry we cut you off short last night. Battery ran out, ran out of battery. Which was not the best of functions. So. No, but it, in hindsight it wasn't so bad because it was peeing down with rain. So we, we wouldn't really have had the camera around much anyway. But we did go to Magic Kingdom for magic hours. Yes. Got wet and got on four rides I think, didn't we? We did. It was very good. That's very good, yeah. Really, really good. We are tired today because we're now on our way to Animal Kingdom for extra magic hours. It's half past seven in the morning and I had a grand total of two hours sleep last night. <laughs> good job. We didn't actually get back to the hotel until like eight minutes past one. And then by the time like we've got stuff sorted and we're still living out of suitcases because we're obviously only at Disney for five days. So the whole room is like a jumble sale. So by the time we've got ready for bed and everything, I then couldn't sleep and two hours of sleep managed to happen in the end. It's alright. It's alright. Got a rest day today after I've been here. Yeah, we were going to have a cool day today after this. But look at the weather. Yeah, it's great. It's horrendous. <laughs> so it's we great. should be swapping something from the planner from later on in the trip that doesn't involve park or weather. So we'll probably go shopping to get that out of the way. Yes. So that then later on, when it's sunny, we're freer. I'm going to SDK tonight. We are, yes. To eat more steak. Yes. Believe it or not. So yeah, we're now on our way into Animal Kingdom, hopefully. Look how tired Shane is, he just keeps rubbing his face. We might get a little sneaky go on Flight of Passage. <laughs> I'm so sure. Yeah, so we might get to go on Flight of Passage. Yes. With a bit of luck. So we can get in there and the queue isn't too big. But we have got fast passes for Na'vi and River, um, River um, Everest. Everest. And Dinosaur. And dinosaur. So we'll do them after nine o'clock anyway, but hopefully we might manage to get on a couple of rides before the other guests arrive. Yay! The Tree of Life. It's when you know you're well and truly into Animal Kingdom. Looks like everyone's hot footing it to Pandora, which is where we'll be going now. Hopefully the queue won't be too long for the ride. But I have a feeling it might be. But we'll see, we'll get in the queue and hopefully it won't take too long for us to get on there. Okay, so we've just escaped that mammoth line flight of passage. Yep. We, were, we got here at 10 to 8, and the current wait time for flight of passage is at 120 minutes already. Yep. So you can only imagine what time the people at the front got here this morning. To well, it's probably, be, to be fair, it's probably more than 120 minutes from what we've seen. Oh, um, well, yeah, we were in a, the, the line was probably about two miles long. Yeah. No joke. So. Absolutely ridiculous. So we're now going to go do all the other rides. Yeah, because we've got fast were... passes for that later on. And like I was just saying to Shane, I'm all for getting up early for things. Like we were up at the crack of dawn today, and we're totally early morning people. But I, I view things in how much of your holiday hours are you wasting. And for me, waiting in that for extra magic hours waste would, would waste my extra magic hours. As much as I want to go on it, I've got a fast pass for it later on. So we're going to go do so, some other fun. Yeah, let's go have some other fun. See, so there's another one walking up the hill to the left now, but this one up ahead's going to give us a better view. Lucky to see one, let alone two black rhinos, since they are so commonly poached for their horn. Even though the horn on a rhino is just made out of keratin. And it's the same material in the human fingernail, completely worthless, really. Sadly, that poaching has reduced the numbers of black rhinos to less than 4,000 left in the entire world. Baby one. Oh, baby. Hippos can swim, but most of the time they'll just walk along the bottom of the uh -huh. riverbed. Crocodiles bite strong enough to crush the bones of their prey with about 2,000 pounds per square inch, of course. And if we find any that are holding their mouths open, oh, they're now waiting for food. They are the only domesticated animals on this reserve. Each one of those horns will max out at six feet long and eight inches in diameter. Not that heavy though, this is honeycomb structure inside. African wild dogs catch their prey more often than any other species out here, including the lions, hyenas, and cheetahs. Watch out for any predators, like those African wild dogs that might be hiding in the tall grasses. 
just one example how nothing ever seems to go to waste in an ecosystem like this. All animals are connected in the great big circle of life. Countless land animals on Earth live giraffe will stand about 18 to 20 feet high. Even at birth, the baby giraffe stands 6 feet tall and they will be able to nurse their mothers at that age. The babies are this dark. There's a juvenile here on the right moving around in the bushes there. A juvenile or young. Hello, little man. Look at you. Giraffes will do mostly everything standing up from eating, and drinking, and sleeping, even giving birth. A baby giraffe's introduction into the world is a six foot fall from its mother. Also, on the right is this large herd of white bearded wildebeest. We also call it new, spelled G N U, after the low grunting sound they make. Part of one of the largest migrations in Africa. Up to 1.5 billion wildebeest migrate together non stop. Now on the left side of the truck. Although they do have really long necks, giraffe actually have the same number of vertebrae bones in their neck the human does. And that's seven. Hold on, with an African elephant will weigh between 11 and 13,000 pounds. It can run up to 25 miles an hour. Mandrels have that bright red and blue coloration on their faces and backsides. A troop of mandrels will be dominated by one male. He's the largest in the troop and has the brightest colors. On any given day, we lose an average 96 elephants in the wild. Swan every 15 minutes due to human causes alone. Large yeah, birds alone. Honey. I should do have very large wings. Can't fly though. But just because they can't fly doesn't mean they can't escape their predators well. Ostrich can run up to 40 miles an hour. They're long power players. We're lucky to see them with their heads raised right now during the daytime. A few more ostriches really close to us on the right side now. Lions are nocturnal not only because it is cooler at night, but also because they do have great night vision. Only species of zebra where their stripes go completely underneath their belly in a continuous line. Fat legs and a zebra are so strong they can break the jaw of an attacking lion with just one kick. They are black with white stripes. You can tell that the base color of a zebra is black. It's from the color of their now. Also on the right side there we see a nest of ostrich eggs on the ground. So it's time to ride dinosaur. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it! You made it! <laughs> I knew you would! <laughs> so here we go! Let's go see if we can find our dino! We are on our way to dinosaurs! Look at all these fun things on the wall! Oh, oh. None was more ferocious than the Chronotaurus! This is Listen up, we've got to get in, grab the water dog, and get down before they have to wake in. Let's roll! Look how beautiful it is, floating mountain. Absolutely glorious. Got a fast pass from Navi, so we're gonna go do that. And it's time to go get some breakfast. And we did see ponies. Ponies? Okay. So here we go. Wait time is currently 60 minutes, but we're going in the fast pass. Just look how beautiful this place is. Even the walkway everywhere is just absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, how do they do that?
saw, we conquered. That's 10 to 10, and we're now on our way out of Animal Kingdom. Didn't manage to ride Everest in the end because it was quite a long wait, so we went to Dinosaur instead. Well, it was a long, it, it was a 20 minute wait when we got there, it was just after nine. But, like, at the front of the queue where you first enter the queue, like, where you scan your fast pass band thing, they were like holding the queue. There was absolutely no queue behind it. It was just they were stopping people. So we bothered not. We bothered not. We went straight went, to Navi. We went to Navi instead. Yeah. Got that done and we're now on our way to Trails End. Yeah. And how far have we walked so far today? Oh, 10,000 steps already, I think. 10,000 steps already today. Good job. And it's only 10, 10 a.m. Walking around Fort Wilderness and come across Emma's dream. Disney ponies! There's one over there as well, a lovely little white one. Emma's loving life right now. But this is Emma's this is Emma's dream, Missy, to come work here. She absolutely loves horses. So if you don't know, I grew up working with horses and I had my own. But I just want to say this is my dream job. This look, oh my god, I am living the dream right now. Oh, so Emma is now going to do a dream of petting a Disney pony. <laughs> Be the happiest. This <laughs> is this Cookie. Hey Cookie. You were like, are they full size? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know much about horses. Where are you from? England. Yeah. I was just saying, you have my dream job. <laughs> it's my dream job yeah. too. Yeah. If I could pick any job, this would be uh, it. Yeah. So horses are my favourite thing in the entire world, and I am literally living my dream right now. I just touched a horse, and look, there's another one in there. Oh my god! <laughs> so this is Cole. His name is, and he is about the size of my old horse. Currently, just, you know, sticking your head in the bucket. And this is Skylar, also massive. Yeah, you, we're talking to you. Yep. That'd be eyes. <laughs> Miss still playing with her ponies. This is Emma's dream of rubbing the Disney ponies. Are you happy? <laughs> Get to touch on ponies. <laughs> you happy? Flame of the ponies. Coming up from the lobby from Roaring Forks in this marvellous hotel, which is the Wilderness Lodge. We love it here, don't we? Yeah, the smell is awesome. <laughs> the smell is actually what got us to stay here. We've been here a couple of days already and we're already falling in love with it, haven't we? Yep. We never thought that we'd want to stay at Disney Hotels for longer than one night, but this has certainly changed our mind. Yeah. We, we realised we have a style of hotel that we always stay in when we're not here. And this is pretty much like the Disney version of the type of place we really stay. 
coming into the lobby here, which is absolutely beautiful. Just look at all this. Look at it all. Oh, we need to go that way for the bus to go to Disney Springs. Because we're going to STK tonight. We were supposed to have a pool day today, but the weather hasn't been too great, so we went down with Geyser Point, got ourselves a cocktail, managed to watch about half an episode of New Girl, and both started bobbing. We were bobbing. <laughs> so we decided that we would go back to the room and have a couple of hours kip, and that we did. Hello. <laughs> So we are about to go to STK. Disney Springs. And a lot of people don't like STK because it's really noisy and loud. loud. Yeah, like a party atmosphere. Yeah, but that's exactly why we go. We really love it. So um, we actually went there just after we got engaged and it was kind of like the final meal of our engagement trip. And so like it was like to celebrate that we got engaged and we had a great time. And it was really, really good. Um, so we went back after we got married, and that was our first meal, like our first special meal, yeah, yeah. and loved it again. And the food is great. And so we're going back again this time. Because why not? That's like our thing now. But also, when we got engaged, Shane brought me a white dress to wear. I didn't obviously know that we were going to get engaged, and I have worn the same dress every time we go to SDK because I am super. Sentimental, and I am wearing headdress tonight. Here it is. Here it is. Very sparkly. And I. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I only fit in this dress at the beginning of the holiday, so That's we have to eat at SDK really soon. Start. <laughs> we'll have to use the dining plan, so. Yeah. through the menu a little bit because this is probably one of the best value restaurants you're going to get if you're on the deluxe dining plan you can get a salad so you get a starter and an entree and a dessert so the starters here they're like you know you've got your salads for 10 but then you go up to here and you've got 19 dollars and you can get those as well and then you can go down here and again I mean, you know, not 18, 19 dollars for a starter that you're not going to have to pay for. And then the same over here with the um, steak. So, you know, 38, 48, 56. That's all included. If you want these, you just have to pay the upcharge, which is 12 dollars for 14 ounces. And that is peanuts in comparison to what you'd pay. So, you get your steak and then if you want any of the toppings or fixings on the top you do have to pay extra for them but you know four dollars it's not that expensive um, and then you get you know your mains but steak is definitely going to be the best and then order your sides this bread here is legit one of the best breads you get on all of Disney property. Sourdough, but it has like a garlic, butter, rub, melted on top of it. It's absolutely tremendous. Oh, there she is. Oh dear. <laughs> well, the appetizers arrived pretty quickly after the bread. And Emma's gone for the little burgers. Which I believe is actually Wagyu beef burgers, and they are pretty delicious, aren't they? Yes. From the previous and experience. Well, I like mine well done, so they've done well done for me. And I have gone for the rock shrimp, which from previous experience is pretty decent too. The entrees have arrived, and oh my god, our eyes are definitely bigger than our bellies. Look at this. Oh, Emma's, <laughs> Emma's arm. 14 ounce bone on steak, well done. That'll just finish her off anyway, but she decided she wanted a mac and cheese as well. And all the fries. FYI, the truffle fries used to be really thick cut, and they used to get about nine. But now they've changed them to the thin, thin ones and you can get a whole portion. So we're going to be food coma and heavy tonight. 
but I have sampled the truffle fries and I can confirm they are amazing. <laughs> it's just a heck of a lot more than they used to be. And I've gone for the same as Emma, the 14 ounce bonus filler, but I've gone for the King Crab Oscar on top, which I believe is the Alaskan King Crab, a Bernays sauce and asparagus. So we'll give that a little try. This little beauty here has pretty much single-handedly finished off all the sides. <laughs> as well as having a good go at a steak as well. This is all that remains out of all of that food that we had earlier on. She's just kept eating and eating and eating. Mine's already gone, look. I haven't even got mine anymore. But she's still going. It's so good I can't not eat it. We're going to need to extend the seams on your dress for long. Yeah. I may not go out on my dress, but that is the cheesiest mac and cheese you've ever had in your life. No point putting the camera down there. there no it there. was the cheesiest mac and cheese. It was. Also, dip your truffle fries in the mac and cheese. Also, also, if you love cheese, dip your steak in the mac and cheese. Cheese is life. I think it's safe to say she's going to sleep well tonight, people. And I think we need to walk 20,000 steps. How are you feeling now? Bad. And? <laughs> Very tired. <laughs> Me too! Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick insight. We paid $300 for our deluxe dining plan. So we got free dining and then we upgraded to deluxe. This is the result of one meal $252.41 and that's one meal and I only pay $300 for six days of food and we're eating at signature restaurants and everything so almost by this one meal on its own we've made back our money which means that everything else we eat is free that my friends, is how you do Disney. Okay, so we're now walking up to World of Disney and I'm about 90% sure that we both left some parts of our legs in Magic Kingdom or Epcot yesterday because we cannot walk. Have you got your legs? Just some parts. Just some parts. 